top. I just want to share with you some details, some further details, following on from the video blog post I did a few days ago. And this is of the aquaculture farm that we're involved in, in building out a section of it into aquaponics. Now this farmer has realised that he has a great resource in the nutrient rich water that he normally discharges into a holding pond. Now this nutrient rich water will now be run through an aquaponic system and he'll get a, an extra cash crop for no additional actual input except of course his build costs. Because the nutrient rich water is already there, he already has these massive pumps moving water around his aquaculture system. So it's just a matter of us doing the plumbing and getting the water to flow, flow in the correct manner at the correct volume through the aquaponic beds. Now I'll show you some more photographs of that and I just want to stress that this farmer is already very successful and moves an awful lot of water around his farm, his uh, aquaculture facility all the time. So this is a really great add-on for any aquaculture farmer who can gain an extra cash crop from what he does. Okay, I'll just show you a few more shots. Here we can see the clever idea that they've come up with to separate the beds and create the strength in the sides in order to get so it doesn't fall over when you fill it with water. Uh, this is a simple new piece of 25 mil square steel welded together to make a frame and you can see there's a bolt being applied in here that will hold the beds quite and you can see it's substantial timber and it's very, very well made, really, really well. Um, underneath we've got a base of this nice um, crushed gravel material which will provide a beautiful base for the greenhouse and also for the staff to walk up and down here when harvesting. And inside the bed itself here, uh, we're going to place some kind of a matte material over that in order to uh, protect the liner, to make sure we don't get any holes in the liner. So this is the walkway, this is the finished walkway, and this is going to be the bed. Okay, okay, we've got, got to fold the corner in right in tight in the corner here like this and make it nice and straight up the sides. See that? Yeah, yeah come on, you This is a nice corner. Good place to keep it. We'll just cut this corner out like that. And we can actually fasten this with a clamp now. Yeah. And this is how we fold the corner now. Now that we've got that nice and tight, so like doing a hospital, hospital bed. We just can't get that all out because we don't need it anymore. We'll just make sure we've got this nice and flat. Uh, there we go, we'll just slice the screen down again. There we go. About now in the corner. Over here. Yep. Put one out here. Put that strip on there. See this lovely nice corner we've got here now, beautiful. And the fold is facing down so that we don't get any, if we, if we had it facing the other way, we could get dirt in it, but now it's facing down. So there we go, that's good. Now we can do the other corner. Well, there we are, just a few little interesting things for you to have a look at to see how an aquaculture farmer can add on to his existing business and introduce to it a really successful element of aquaponics. Using up that nutrient rich water that he's already producing in his farm, it's just a great project. You saw just a brief snippet there of the grow troughs being built on the ground, soon to be lined, and the gravel grow bed component, which is part of the farm, uh, which will be used to grow things like tomatoes, cucumbers and those kind of veggies in but you saw there we were applying the liner, a very nice liner going into those prior to putting in the gravel into the beds. Really, really good. I hope you gained something from that. Just remember we teach all this stuff in our four day and one day classes that we run. Uh, we're currently prepping up to go to Florida again which will be held 16th to the 19th of September. Make sure you're there. If you're, in, if you're in the USA somewhere, make it your business to come. You'll have a great time and you'll learn heaps. See you next time.